Moment of inertia. Here's a good spot. Uh, right there. So A. What's the moment of inertia? Moment of inertia for a cylinder, a solid disc, is one half times the mass times the radius squared, which is going to be one half. Let's see, the mass is a tenth of a kilogram. Zero point one zero kilogram. It's going to be 0. Now, check me on this, but I think it's 0. 0.00. 0. Let's see, a quarter, quarters, an eighth, a one, two, five, one, oh, one, two, five, one, oh, six, two, two, five, one, oh, six, two, three. Three sig figs. Uh, and that's going to be kilogram meters squared. Okay, that's the first part. Again, check my numbers. You know, I don't have a calculator on me. I usually depend on you for this. More chalk. So now we'll figure out the angular velocity. So the angular velocity, it's in uh, revolutions per minute. We gotta get it in radians per second. So, the angular velocity is, uh, 50 revolutions per minute I'm getting some stairs. I think I've got refrigerator repairman pants. There you go. And I got uh, uh, revolutions. I got to go with radians. So I got uh, 2 pi radians in a revolution. Let's see, revolutions cancel. Woohoo! And then uh, minutes per second. Gotta get radians per second. So there, there's one minute per 60 seconds. And the minutes cancel. And we got, uh, yeah, like, um, Let's say, let's call it 5.2. Roughly, I, you know, you have to check on this, but it's going to be about 5.2. That's going to be radians per second. You know, this is a, um, I didn't mention momentum's a vector. It's not a scalar, so you usually should show direction. So this is going, let's say this is going clockwise. So I'll just put a little CW here. So if you can do that on your notes, CW, clockwise. So I'm going 5.2 radians per second clockwise. And then say over here on your angular velocity with a 50 rev per minute, put a little CW there. Now the last thing we have to do is figure out the, mo the angular momentum. So I think we've got, let's see. We got, we got the, the moment of inertia, we got that. So we'll figure it out. I better do it over here so it's still in the light. What, watch out, whoa, okay, just kidding. <laughs> All right, so let's see. The angular momentum is the moment of inertia times the angular velocity, which is gonna be 0.0, .0 Zero six two three kilogram meters squared. Right as fast as you can. Security's coming. 
times the angular velocity, which I said was 5.2 uh, radians per second. Right? Yeah? Okay. And that's clockwise. And that's going to equal, let's see, 1063.0315. About 0.032, I think. And I'm roughing it again. 0 0.032. And that's going to be kilogram meter squared per second. And that's clockwise. And a better circle that. That's angular momentum. The only thing left we have to talk about is collisions, which we'll do right over there.